Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make my Greek yogurt waffles. This recipe is super popular on the website, but the photo is even more popular. It's been used for memes and instructions, and lots of people just steal it to use it for their waffle recipe, and people have even made it into a t-shirt. So if people love it that much, then you need to love it too. We're gonna start with one and three quarters of a cup of milk. Pour it into a mixing bowl and add in half a cup of Greek yogurt. Because of course, these are Greek yogurt waffles, so you're gonna need Greek yogurt. Next, we'll add in two eggs and a tablespoon of honey. I'll use my whisk to get some of that out here. And we'll whisk this all together. You'll want to make sure you whisk this really well. We're talking a solid minute or two of whisking. Break up the egg yolks, get the Greek yogurt mixed in, make sure the honey isn't just stuck on the bottom. Whisk until it's nice and frothy on top. Now that I have all these bubbles on top from whisking so much, I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients with two cups of flour, a tablespoon plus two teaspoons of baking powder, so almost two tablespoons, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we'll mix this in. The batter will kind of fluff up as the baking powder activates. You wanna stir this until most of the lumps are gone. We don't need to be picky and get every single lump, but you know, just most of them. You want a mostly smooth batter. Next, we're gonna scoop some of this batter into a preheated waffle iron. First, you wanna spray it with some nonstick cooking spray so that your waffle doesn't stick. And then we're gonna scoop on the batter. And I scoop on about half a cup of batter. Then close the lid and let it cook. How much batter you use and how much cooking time you have will depend on your waffle maker, so make sure you look at the little book of instructions that came with that. I've included a link to my waffle iron in the video description. But no matter how you roll, you're looking for that nice golden brown waffle. Keep on cooking until you've used up all of your batter. If you don't wanna make that many waffles right away, this stores really well. Simply transfer the batter to an airtight container. It will stay good in the fridge for about five to seven days. Serve them up hot with the toppings of your choice. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.